What are you expecting from the separate side? Um, it's going to be a tough game, like they always are. Um, obviously, we've seen bits of them. Don't know huge amounts about them, obviously. Um, but seeing them went through their stuff over the last couple of days. Um, good, good forward players. Um, set piece threat as well, which we've seen. Um, so, yeah, just getting used to that. But main focus is on ourselves. How difficult is it to, to analyse it and look at a team who you don't normally see? You maybe just see sort of five, ten minutes of video for the job. Um, yeah, I feel it, yeah, probably is. It is quite difficult um, not seeing as much as probably what you're you're used to in terms of your league games, obviously. Um, but we see clips, we see the stuff that that we um, that we went through and, and the video clips and stuff, but. I think, like I said, it's it's mainly about us and what we do and how we can control the game or put our game against theirs and, and um, get the crowd involved and being at home, obviously, it's going to be a, an advantage to us. Um, but yeah, it is difficult, but I feel like um, I touched on it in the last game. It's quite difficult because obviously then you're, you're trying to get yourself into the game and getting the feel of the game in terms of what they are as a team, what they what they're going to be doing in the game and stuff like that. So whereas obviously like the league games, you're you're more than used to to how the team's going to the team you're playing against is going to play and and how they operate. So it is difficult, but it's it's all part of the challenge, I suppose. Given that Cyprus is not a league where you would assume that there's going to be some top clubs coming from, is there a, a danger? Maybe not the, the players, but the, the fans underestimating just exactly. Um, the, the quality that's, that's on show. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm. I'm. I'm not too too sure about that. Um, there might be a, a slight chance of that, yeah. But um, in terms of that, it's they're they're here for a reason. I mean, I think you look at that Dynamo Mints game that we had. Um, I think there was probably a similar sort of feeling in terms of that game. But you see how close it was, and and it was a tough game. Like I said, they always are, and they're not here to make up the numbers. Obviously, they're here on merit. So. Um, they're going to be a difficult team and, and, and um, it'll be a tough game. Do you feel that the, the players have a, a drive within them to not just compete in the Conference League but to actually progress in it, not just be part of the 36 team league? Yeah, um, I think 100% we're in it. I mean, we've got to try try to, to get through, like I just said then, um, we're not here to sort of make up the numbers. We want to, We want to progress, we want to keep pushing forward, we want to challenge ourselves and um, I think there's no better way to do that than playing in European leagues and and um, getting through to hopefully what could be a knockout stage, I know there's a long way to go, I'm not saying that we're there yet but obviously if we get a good result tomorrow then we put ourselves in a good position and and, um, and yeah, just go from that. The manager just left, he's talking about how a fresh pair of eyes can actually see things that have maybe been there for a while, but <coughs> been blind to those there. Has he enlightened you to anything over the last week or so since he's come in? Do you think, yeah, maybe maybe that has been an issue? Um, yeah, maybe there's been certain things that we've changed and, and he's touched on and things that we've, I think it was all known that we needed to get better and improve on certain things. Um, I think the main thing is just simplified so much. Um, I think sometimes it can be overcomplicated in terms of, and then you're thinking too much that we need to do this or that. So, especially the weekend, I feel like we just simplified everything. We had a good structure and let our top players do what they're good at. Um, and it was our, our job to, to stay sort of um, strong and, and be set up well behind the ball and being structurally quite well, uh, quite good. So um, he's, he's done that and he's, he's sort of just encouraging us to, to play our game and and uh, not overthink anything. Finally for me then, European nights here at Tynecastle under the lights, mm -hmm. they're very, very special nights, aren't mm -hmm. they? Yeah, they're really good. I've had a small taste of it yeah. um, last year and a little one that obviously this year. Um, so yeah, hopefully it can just be another another good one and get the, get the crowd going. How important is European experience getting these different experiences against different styles of teams? <coughs> You think back to when you first played in this competition, it can take you by surprise and you feel more comfortable coming up against these different styles. Um, yeah, it is difficult for me um, and 
maybe for other players in the team as well, it is a different kind of football, different sort of style, um, obviously compared to the one we're used to in our league. Um, but it's all part of the challenge and, and just part of, of playing in these games is trying to get used to that and dealing with that as good as, as, good as you can and as well as you can. Um, and I feel like the last game in the Minsk game that we done quite well in dealing with that, obviously the situation with no fans and, and everything, but um, yeah, we're just getting used to it and, and um, hopefully we can do well tomorrow. How important was that, that win over Minsk in terms of the season in general and, and getting that first victory, but also you know, getting three points on the board and showing that it's actually a realistic chance of progressing to the 100%, race. yeah, 100% and winning away from home in any competition is really good. So to do it in our first game, obviously in Europe, um, put ourselves in a good, good strong position on the front foot, and um, hopefully, like I said, we can just maintain it. And and it was it was a good win. It was our first win of the season, like you said, which I think give the boys a bit of belief and um, a bit of relief as well in terms of um, in getting that under our belt and and then trying to push forward from there.